West Philadelphia, born and raised on the playground is where I spent most of my days when a couple of guys, they were up to no good, started making trouble in my neighborhood. I got in one little fight and my mom got scared, she said, you moving with your auntie and your uncle in LA. I looked at my kingdom, I was finally there to sit on my throne as the Prince of Bel Air. Turns out, the guys I fought weren't regular thugs, they were a powerful gang, running guns and drugs. And because of our fight, one went to jail, so they followed me all the way out to Bel Air. Y'all ready to deal with this? Let's go to Bel Air and kill that nerd! They barge right through the door, sort of trashing the place. My Uncle Phil got all up in the leader's face, he said, Son, I'm a judge, so you better think twice. Then they beat my Uncle Phil within an inch of his life. Carl roll, tin pissed his khakis and snitched me out. He's hiding outside in a pool house. So I got out of there as quick as I came. Lay low in a motel, hiding from that gang. <laughs> then this lady showed up and here's what she said. I'm FBI. You stay here, you're dead. At that very moment, I was frozen with fear. She said, you want to stay alive, you got to disappear. Cut to the city more where I'm scared and confused. She's dressing a dead body in my clothes and my shoes. Says she needs my teeth and a couple of hairs to make the thugs think the body's a fresh Prince of Bel Air. The body in the car has been identified as a Philadelphia man who, according to friends, enjoyed chilling out, max, and relaxing all cool land. I watched my own funeral from behind the tree. I saw my mama cry as they buried me. I said, can I just let her know I'm all right? She said, now you're a ghost. Say good night. <laughs> I woke up in the warehouse on the metal seat with a scary Japanese man looking at me. The dead is repeat. The feds said to the man, I asked her, Yo, what the f is happening? She said, I'm not a B.I., but I'm sorry I used you, but my father owes a lot of money to the Yakuza. So all of this was just a crazy ploy. Silence, worm. Now you're a nobody boy. Didn't know what that was. Didn't want to find out. But they burned off my fingerprints and duct tape my mouth. Then gunshot in the henchman drop. The Philly thugs entered holding nines and glocks. Hey, yo, Philly's my town, Akira. Said the thug to the man. So gather up your crew and go back to Japan. The man just smiled and quietly answered. Gentlemen, please teach our guests some manners. Both crews opened up. Bullets flying past. The redhead got hit with a shotgun blast. In the shadows stood a man. Nobody knew who he was. Who the hell are you? You can call me the judge. Woo! Uncle Phil said. You need to get off the grid. You can never go back to the life that you live. So I crawled on the floor past the red-headed trader, and the last words were, Yo, yeah, I'll see you later. And that's my story, y'all, about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. And if anybody asks, just sit right there and tell them how I became Jasper Mitchell of White Ridge, New Hampshire.